Hi everyone, this is Makeshwari from Miss Time Garden. So today's card is um, a gift card holder. You can just keep a money or any gift card at a small um, piece of cardstock inside. And this is the belly band around. You can see the beautiful uh, shimmer in front using the Wink of Stella. Okay, let's get started now. I'm just getting my base card as balmy blue uh, with some designer series paper which is from the storybook nooms. And now I'm just going to get my paper trimmer and I'm just going to um, do my scoring line. The first scoring I'm just doing at 6.4 cm on 21 cm cardstock side and rotate and I'm just going to score again at 5 cm. So if it is in inches means it's two and a half inches by two inches. So that's the scoring are done. Now I'm just going to fold all the score lines and make sure to burnish all the lines. The next step I'm just going to attach the designer series paper to the bottom first. Make sure it's lined perfectly. You can use any side of the DSP. But I just want to go with the balmy blue and the next step I'm just getting my trio punch and I'm just using the corner here and I'm just punching on the cardstock and the next one I'm just going to do the same thing using the designer series paper as well so once finished you can see I'm just going to glue the DSP like this. So before that I'm just going to emboss the cardstock. I'm using the Timber 3D embossing folder to emboss only on uh, the flop. Okay so let me do that aside. So once I just finished I'm just going to insert the basic weight cardstock inside. Maybe you can use only half of them but I just accidentally cut the full cardstock but it's okay. Make sure the basic white is centered. You can stamp any sentiment here, but I just don't want to. Now I'm just going to add some glue only on the sides because um, we are going to use it for um, the keeping money or gift card holder. Yes, it looks okay now. The next thing I'm just going to attach the designer series paper on top. I'm just going to attach this side because I just want something contrast. Now I'm just going to use the belly band here. I'm just uh, going to use a small um, piece of gray granite. You can find all the measurements on my blog. So before that I'm not um, doing any scored line here. So then I just already um, having the wonderful snowflakes and the, the gnomes from the designer series paper. I'm just holding my grey granite cardstock here and I'm just um, wrapping around itself because I just don't want to uh, do the score line before and do that. I always feel uh, that it should not be too tight, you know. So I'm just um, wrapping around like this and then I'm just having a look how it's going to look. Yes, I'm just going to attach like this. So let me get my glue. Now I'm adding glue on only the one end and I'm just pressing and it's fine now. And then the next step I'm just going to add glue only to the center of the snowflakes. That's enough. Just to give a little pressure that's more than enough. The next step I'm just going to add the stamping dimensional here and stick it to the center. The next step I'm just going to stamp my sentiment using the stamp set merriest moments and I'm just using the sentiment seasonal greetings and I stamped using the ink pacific point. Once I stamped using uh, in the scrap base of basic white I'm just going to fussy cut that and I just um, made a bow using the simply elegant silver trim and I just attached to the middle of the gnomes here using the glue dots and then I'm just going to attach the sentiment top using stamping dimensional. 
I am just using the corner pieces of the dimensional here. I hope it's enough. And stick it to the middle. Done. And finally going to add some embellishments. I am going to use three of the Festive Pearls um, silver embellishments here. Two on one on top. Our gift card holder is done. Hope you all guys like my today's gift card holder. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like my project, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you. Bye-bye.